My name is Success Ndidi Ebuna. I hail from one of the Niger Delta regions called River State, Nigeria. We are impoverished and neglected. Our farmlands lie in waste. Our waters and the air around us are constantly polluted by oil spillage. That is why we demanded what is rightfully ours, violently. With the introduction of the amnesty program by the late President Umaru Musa Yeradua on June 25, 2009, its core values are simple. Train, empower, and restore peace to the disillusioned Niger Delta youth. Well, this program is meant to train them to be entrepreneurs and in turn now create jobs. So if you're a welder, for instance, then you have your machine. You can do things yourself. You can get small, small jobs, make uh, burglary poles, employ small boys to help you. For those of the person that is selling building materials, you can open your own shop, sell your own things. Nobody's going to ask you your background before you come to buy something from you. If he knows you can supply. Nobody's going to ask you where you're from. If he knows, for instance, I don't know if you're even an ex-militant to yourself. But once you can talk to me and I, you can offer this service then. It's a total change in behavior. Because um, now they understand that we're going away. This is what we're going to do. We're going to be empowered. We're going to, they're now entrepreneurs. They're now business owners. And it is not just that. You are bettering yourself so that you can better your community. They're starting businesses. They're going to employ other people to work with them. So they are creating employment. So they're beginning to see themselves as an important part in the society also. So it's not give me, give me, give me. It is what can I do for my community. For the training who will go, now the teachers work. And teachers, the the program for the program for the treatment they are give they are they give us hotel yeah they are try for hotel then for feeding they are feeding us the training the training the federal government they do it because of why they give us COVID they give what we need but hotel everybody hotel is standard hotel all we learn and the food they stand standard. And uh, for attendance, the way we attend ourselves, we did okay, everything did okay. Normally, the training, they teach me how to manage my company, how to manage what they give to me, how will I become a big man tomorrow in my future. My area, building material, they teach me how I will manage my money, how I will manage my customer, how I will pay tax at the end of the year. They still tell us, say, bad business, the carry person enter prison. I don't learn how to do business. I don't know how to do my business plan. And know how to economize my, myself, to understand with people and start my business. The most important thing, which was my main goal, anytime I would step into class to teach, my main goal was first mental, mental liberation. So make them see the possibility that they can succeed by themselves, that they can actually run a business. The Amnesty Post-Training Empowerment Program, the first batch of many to come, is to cater for over 20,000 registered delegates. The approach to this praiseworthy program was quite simple and easy for even a child to understand. So we adopted what in research is called the bottom-top approach. For every discussion, we began with what they know, what is rudimentary, what is basic. And uh, we made the discussions very participatory. For instance, we talk about who is an entrepreneur. The word entrepreneur may sound big, but we watered it down to mean what you they do, who they do what they do. For me, it's not just impacting of knowledge. We know there are three goals of learning. The goal in adult learning many of times is to change a mindset. So if you can get them inspired, uh, and that may not be the academic. So it's for them to, for you to look for a way to break. Okay, you want to talk about, say for instance, marketing. You won't be talking about theories of marketing, but you make them understand from the little things you say. For instance, blow your own. Make people know, say you did here. Yeah. Waiting at the things. And they themselves, you'll be surprised. A lot of the things that we did in class were generated from them. So group work, role play, and they, they do understand the concepts. We've done what even Napoleon couldn't do. 
we met persons who have never sat in a classroom situation, sit intensively for two weeks. We met people who can recognize A, even if it's as big as a giant, take notes that they will remember. Uh, as a matter of fact, at the end of every day, the trainees were able to give a pictorial view of what they had learned in the day, even those who can read and write. However, training programs of this magnitude do not come without its peculiar challenges. The long-term success of this program will have to be how if we need to find a way to get them to stay the course. Because like you and I know, running a small business is not the easiest of things. You need persistence. Uh, you need some of the skill sets we taught them. So that's the main challenge now, is how do we maintain this? Some of them sharing their experiences with us said they have stayed in, in the creeks for, for months, for years. Some of them are not quite used to meaningful or dad lives. And some of them are so used to drugs and uh, can barely stay for two hours without trying to at least take a like, cigarette or some drink or some drug. These are some obvious challenges. Have mercy. I don't see fire. I come here, man, I can't resign without mercy. I will tell you my own life. Very important to see that one fifty not enough, not do anything there. That minimum 150 when they talk, eh? If you want to make a special food over here because if they're not saying that development program, they can't just come to for you. Maybe you better do something where we say, People go to Wanda, you know, if you write a one room, put your word machine, begin the word machine for one. So, so we don't want you to that word. We want to show you 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 that and uh, we did our best to make the discussions, the training, very interesting by making them very practical. With such transforming programs as this, the Niger Delta has new rays of hope. I won't make myself to richest person and the biggest person where people could know my name for the whole world. So I can play more people so I make my company to express for many places so that many people know say uh, this person they exist. We will establish it and there is all that at home we can carry along from the business. So we need it to, to, have, to have it in a big way so that people can benefit from there. I want once made them know me as a person when they sell building material as far as Niger data is concerned or Nigeria. I want my business to be so the, the whole world we hear the name of the company achieved from government, federal government. Government said we see here and say, I'm nursing boys. See work we work we say today. Yes, now better work they train all those people we say maintain a large where we the world go here say now from amnesty grant now gather empowerment. These delegates were once perceived as nightmares. Was much expected from them? Coming to meet with them and um, taking them in this empowerment program, I, I, I got to see that they are not exactly what I thought they were. The mindset I was coming with is not what I met. They are not violent, as it were. They, they just needed to be understood. Their point of view needed to be understood. Then they had to be made to understand, to see things the way things really are. What I've learned from this is that bad people have also the potential to be good. And good people can become bad. These people, interacting with some of them, have seen that some of them are not as really bad. In nature, the very uh, naughty people are very loud. We have less than 20% of people who you describe as violent amongst them. The truth is that uh, 
in the course of the training, even a few young ladies who were resource persons earned their respect. Not to think of those of us who they reasonably know are their seniors. We earned their respect. Every person involved in the training, they, they showed love. They, they, they share wonderful jokes. You see wonderful humor. And among themselves, they respect hierarchy. Uh, so they are not as violent as, as a matter of fact, there are no write-offs. At the end of the day, you have more than 50% achieve what it is we set out to achieve with them. Eventually, it's going to rub off on the, other, on the others who may not um, take off immediately. Can we say, particularly in two weeks of interaction, we can cause dramatic change in all of them? No. But we have seen significant change in quite a number from what they were before they came here from what they are now today that we're doing this interview. There seems to be a little twist in the order of events as most of the delegates recount their own audio. Really say, you put on dancing man, you want, you want empower other children. Okay, fine, you don't carry the con orientation ground. May empower them. Then you send message call today, say, Na equipment, now you won't give us, and 150, now you won't give us more go to start. Uh, if not like that, the 150, now boys won't go to start for this empowerment. I not believe say many boys will feel survive for that 150. They give me transport money, 5,000 naira, only 5,000. Wait I spend come, 20,000 naira. The ambulance people give me 5,000 naira. You don't reach anything. Are there ways by which amnesty program can further be developed in order to have more effect on the delegates and further boost national peace and tranquility? Uh, they have expectations which, if they have option, they would prefer to a few things we have done. For instance, uh, to, uh, some of them were agitating that uh, they would have been a lot happier, and I agree with them. Now, rather than stay in a hotel for five, six, seven thousand naira per day, they would have preferred a proper camp life and then receive the money. That would have made them happier. I would have also have considered making the program slightly longer so that the practical internship will be part and parcel of the, the program at the same venue. These are some obvious things I will, I would want to include in the program if I have an opportunity to run it a second time.